Hey everybody, Christine here with a box opening video for a Couleur or Color Airy. This is an MSD sized doll um, made by one specific artist. I think her name is Layla. And um, I ordered her last year, quite a while ago. And um, she finally arrived this week. So I am pretty excited. Now I will say, um, there were supposed to only be 50 of these. This is like the version two. I think there ended up being more because of like a mistake with ordering. But I'm pretty excited because this doll actually sold out in like literally one minute. All 50 slash 100 of them. Making sure my address didn't show up. <laughs> Yay! Look at that. It's December and this is my first Christmas gift to myself. All right. Let's get her open. There will be dolly nudity, so just a heads up. Okay, here is her COA. Um, order number 10226, Sculpt Airy in Peach. So I'll leave that in there. Don't want to mess it up. Here is a stringing guide for her that comes with it. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Now I haven't been ordering any dolls this year, so literally all the videos I've made this year have been dolls I ordered almost a year ago. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. All right. So here she is out of the box. Um, she came with like, uh, I guess, extra hands and feet, but I'll check those out in a minute. She has some pretty big feet. I kind of like them. They must be like nice to stand with because when dolls have really small feet, um, makes it difficult for them to stand. So as you can see, she stands right out of the box. She's actually tilting forward and yet she's still standing because of her pretty large feet. So as you see, let me show her face as best I can. Okay, this is her face from the side. Here is what her head cap looks like off. It says airy on the inside on the face plate. So not a head cap, a face plate. <laughs> and she's got an S hook in here. I can tell you right now the magnets are really, really good because it took me quite a bit of pressure to take her head off. So, all right, let me just quickly grab what's in here and then I will start checking out the body. So, okay, so she comes with extra heel feet. I thought she came with extra hands, but no. And these are shoes. Okay, let me take this out. I didn't know she came with shoes, so that's pretty cool. They're very, 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 very thin. They don't feel heavy at all. So that's nice. If you can't find shoes for Aerie, she'll come with her own. Well, I can't put them on the flat feet, right? So why did I even try? Let's see. Yep. Looks good to me. These are very cute. All right, let me put this back away for right now. Don't think I'm gonna be using uh, heel feet right this moment. To be honest, I don't even have clothes for her, so it's gonna be some. All right, so this Airy version two body, the only difference, well, actually there's several differences, but I don't know the rest of them, shall I say. 
So she did do like a little bit of extra uh, thigh work and some other stuff, but her um, breasts are bigger. So in the version one, the breasts are much smaller. All right, let's check out this body. So first of all, let's start with the head. Um, she's very squeaky um, because she's very tightly strung, which is good. I like that. Let's see. So this is as far as her head goes up. This is how far her head goes down. Well, wow, it's quite a bit, huh? All right. And then side to side. That's to the right. And to the left. So quite a bit. Now there is a bit of gapping here, but it's not a big deal. Um, depending on how you're using her. So if you're taking poses and her hair is in the way, you're not going to see that little hole from her neck. So let's put this back. Now I did notice she's got um, like a little spot up here. I'm assuming it's to be able to put her shoulder up here instead. That's interesting. Um, the only other doll I've ever had that did that was the Danny. So, the um, who made Danny? I don't even remember. Someone. <laughs> anyway, that doll does the same thing, so that's kind of cool. I know I'll remember after this video, and that's going to annoy me, but you know, whatever. Alright, so she is double jointed in her um, elbows and her feet. I'll tell you how well they work. I can tell you right now, this peanut's pretty good. Um, let me show it to you guys. So here's what her arm looks like. And as you can see, she holds her poses pretty well. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, and she's got magnetic hands, right? <laughs> Clearly. All right, let's see. So she can hold some poses. I saw that her hand, yeah, see? It didn't, it didn't want to stay there for a second. Yeah, so sometimes it won't stay. Maybe if I put it up here. No, that's actually worse. All right, so keep it down here if you want better poses. She can touch her face easily, too. Looks like she's blowing her nose into her hand. That's not cute. <laughs> she can put her hand behind her. She can put her hand up. All right, her hands are pretty decent. I do like that they're magnetic, so. I mean, if she doesn't have any extra hands, there's not much point other than to get her dressed, which is still very good because I know sometimes I'm trying to get clothes on a doll and their hand just gets in the way and it's very annoying. So that is nice. Let's go on to her torso. So she's got a one part torso. Okay, so she's kind of like, just she wants to have her hands up. Okay, you can have your hand up. Let's try to move her forward. So here is what she looks like um, with her body facing forward or, or bending forward, shall I say. This is what it looks like from the back. It's got a little lip here so that you can get it back in place. And there is some spacing here, but again, not a big deal if she's dressed. Let's move her backwards. She has quite a bit of um, leaning backwards here. And again, there is a space here, but with clothes on, I'm sure it's not a big deal. So that's, that's a pretty good range of motion, and it seems like I can um, like tilt her sideways. Quite a bit, in fact, so that's pretty nice. I'm trying to move her, her arms out of the way, sorry. I don't want them to be in the way and then you can't tell what's going on. So this is how much sideways she can go. That's pretty good. So you can lean her, you know, forward and sideways, like so. All right, let's move on to the 
legs. Now I have mentioned many times in my videos, I really love when the dolls have a mobility joint on their thigh. This doll does not have one, but let's check out what kind of range of mobility she has. So here she is standing straight. Here she is with her knee bent up. And it stays very easily. Um, you can't do like the whole knee touching the chest thing, which is disappointing, but I think it'll be okay. Um, I'm not too much of a, like a photographer uh, with dolls. Like I, I take photographs of my dolls, but if you've watched my or looked at my Instagram, then you know. Um, but I don't like do it as a profession or anything, so I don't mind. But I do really enjoy when my dolls can do some super cool poses. Um, there is a little chip here, I noticed. Hmm. I don't know if it got sanded away or what, because it looks glossy. But there's a little dent there. Anyway, um, let's see. Can she hold like a side... Here we go. So she can do like a little bit in between. You can tell she's very well strung. Okay, so she can't do all the way. Hey, now she can't even do the pose she had before. All right, well, if I bend the knee, I'm sure she could do it. Yeah. So let's check her... Um, double joint. So it is not a peanut, it is a very circular ball, meaning she would not be able to hold her um, knee bent all the way like this. Not that it matters because she's got some pretty chonky legs, which I love by the way. So she wouldn't be able to do this even if she did have a peanut instead of a ball, so that's fine with me. All right, so here is the most she can bend her knee without help, like that. That's still all right, but um, kind of limits the poses that you can do with her, you know? So let's see, if I try to... Oh, that's very interesting. I can't get the leg to do the same thing on both sides. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, cool. So if you put her down, let's get her hands in a position that looks a little cuter, right? There we go. She can bend her knees this much. That's it. And I guess you can push her upward like this to try to get this position to stay. But, um there we go she can't kneel down or anything like that there we go and now let's see if I try to sit her down how that would look some people don't like creaky dolls you know it really doesn't bother me makes me feel like the doll's like well strung. I'm not sure why I think that. Maybe it's because it's true. I don't know. Alright, one leg just really wants to face a different direction. Oh, I see why. Okay, cool. I knew that. Alright, so here she is. Sitting down. One of her knees just, or not her knees, but her legs doesn't want to go all the way down. In fact, neither of them do. So this is what she sits like. Like so. And then if I wanted to have like one knee a little bit up, let's see what I could do here. That's a no-go, sir. Okay, so I can't get it any higher than that. There we go. That still looks pretty cute, though. I mean, yeah, why not? All right. Let's see. All right, so here's a cute little pose right here. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. I hope this is coming out on camera because right now the sun's going down, you know, at four o'clock because that's Chicago. And that's winter. Well, actually, we're, we're still in autumn, but yeah. 
Anyway, so there's that. And now let's go down to the feet. Putting her back into her default position. So here are, are her little toes. They're so cute. Um, the feet can go down quite a bit. Um, they can go up a decent amount too. So yeah, down like a ballerina down. That's pretty good. And then up. And let's see side to side. I don't think it'll be much. No, not too much. So this is in. And that's pretty much out. You could do anything in between that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Is there anything else I should note? She's got cute little butt dimples on her big booty. I have a feeling she can stand in a lot of positions with, uh, yeah, see, even with her knees bent a little, she's strung well enough that it still keeps the position. So, see, look. Ta -da! That's pretty nice. Uh, that's, to me, very important. Even if the doll doesn't have, um, like, the mobility joint and all that, if it's well strung right out of the box and I don't have to do too much, it really helps because <laughs> that is one thing I do with my dolls is try to make them stand outside I don't want them falling on the concrete all right so I am going to take some pictures I don't know what I have that she can use because not many people make clothing for Ari, and she has quite a big booty and thighs she's probably MSD on top you know like um mini or what is it what is it called i don't even know anymore slim msd but uh the bottom she's probably sd but yeah and then i she probably can wear wigs that are size six seven we'll see i'll check it out she's got very tiny eyes i'm talking like probably 10 millimeters maybe less i probably should have checked this information you know the whole year i was waiting for this doll right all right well Stay tuned, and thanks for watching my video.